Hey everybody, welcome back to iPhone Bloke where we help quality people to pick up quality product. Now in today's video, I want to talk about a very interesting information which I think a lot of us have been wondering, uh, questioning to each other, you know, tweeting, uh, asking on Quora and blah blah blah. So this is a long debate and a debate which talks about which phone company is better. We're talking about Apple versus Android devices. So let's get started. So Apple versus Android. Now this is a long, long debate. And trust me, I'm not somebody who is absolutely pro Apple, but then, you know, it's all my usage and my experience over a span of 10 plus years since that day I've started using uh, you know, phones and uh, absolutely Apples and of course I've had experience of Samsung's, uh, Xiaomi, Realme, Redmi and whatnot. But personally, you know, when I have touched a phone, I've started my entire journey with Apple iPhones, uh, fortunately. So that's one of the reasons why I prefer Apple, but then it's all about me. Today's video is all about you guys, what you want, and why do we always have this Apple versus Android phones and which one is better. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing first, which we all need to understand is the content update, the constant update which Apple gives uh, compared to Android phones. So let's say these days you have Realme, you have Xiaomi, you have uh, Poco, all sorts of brands, even Samsung, but are they really constant when it comes to giving updates to uh, their respective cell phones in terms of operating systems? Uh, whereas in iOS, you get an update every single month. And it is phenomenal because every single phone, whichever is there in the market, uh, you know, if it's there, let's say, if it's been launched, let's say four years ago, even that particular phone is bound to get an update. For example, my iPhone SE still gets update of 14.2, uh, 14.1 and whatnot. So constant update is one of the reasons why a lot of people still prefer buying an Apple device compared to an Android one. That's point number one. <clears throat> point number two, long lasting designs. I'm sure even if you see the S Ultra, Ultra 21 of Samsung, if you hold in your hands, it doesn't give you that premium feel or plush feeling, even though it's a phone more than 70,000 rupees. It is as good as, uh, let's say, Apple iPhone 12 and plus. But a lot of people have still come back and say, you know what, it's a mere plastic. This is not the case with the iOS and Apple iPhone users. More often than not, Apple uses a glass material, stainless steel, and whatnot, you know, because everyone, whenever they want to hold a, a phone, whether it's an iPhone or whatever, it should give you a plush feeling. With Apple, I think this has been a very, very renowned factor since the day they have launched an iPhone. Even the first uh, iPhone 3G, if you believe, in 2007, if you see that, I think even that particular phone has mind-boggling built up. So the built up with iPhones is terrific. That's reason number two why people normally prefer uh, iOS device compared to Android ones. <clears throat> Better cameras. My, that's the major point of mine when it comes to why still people prefer so-called iPhone compared to an Android phones. Uh, you have seen uh, with Samsung and many other Android phones, they say one not megapixels, one not eight megapixel, one not five megapixel. Apple has not done a crazy thing in terms of pixels. The maximum pixel what they've given is 12. They may have divided into three categories, you know, the wide camera angle and of course the telephoto zoom and blah, blah, blah. But then primarily they have not gone ahead more than 12 megapixel. But the, the value what you get with those 12 megapixel and the aperture is even still better in iPhone 4s even today compared to many other flagship phones what we have in the market. So camera performance of Apple iPhones and even the video stability is, is absolutely fantastic compared to any other Android phones in the market. As per my experience and my research over a span of 10 plus years. Now, the biggest factor why I believe Apple is still going great guns in market in terms of uh, 
productivity in terms of sales and even this Air Apple has sold millions and millions of iPhones compared to Samsung. In fact, they have become the world's number one uh, phone selling organization, which is no, no small feat given the overall population of the world and even the consumer lifts. But that has happened constantly from day one, even till today, is because of tremendous customer service. Apple is a specific brand wherein they, for example, if you go to Apple's shop and if you say, you know, my iPhone SE, my iPhone 10, my iPhone 12 is not working, they would not take and repair. They'll give you a brand new phone if it's under the warranty session. Well, wouldn't you feel happy if you happen to get a phone after using a particular phone, let's say for six months or seven months, and if your phone stops working, they won't get you repaired, they'll get you a brand new box of an iPhone. That's what I have personally experienced uh, with iPhone 4S and 5S, and trust me, it has been a remarkable customer service. They have a dedicated app called Apple Customer App, where if you place any of your queries, you get constant help and constant information. Well, these are the four major reasons why I still believe iPhone is better than an Android phone. But then that's my verdict. Why don't you give me in the comment in the description talk about which phone do you like? Either you like an iPhone or some wonderful other Android devices. Thank you so much for watching and in case if you're new, do give us a thumbs up, click, subscribe and we'll see you in next video. Till then, you take care.